AI is continuing in the right direction for us to create better content. If you're looking for a multi-content creation tool, then I might have something for you. This right here is copy.ai, an AI platform to help us create better content. Let's check it out. So here we are on the dashboard of copy.ai where we have our projects and some tools and templates as they call it that we can use. I have already created one project here called Collecti. In here I have created some product descriptions and you can see all the different product descriptions down here. And these product descriptions are on point. Now copy.ai doesn't have a long form content creator, but what they do have is an editor over here. So I can basically take all of this text and then I can just copy and paste it over here and then I can start to build my own long form content. But that is of course not the same, but it is the closest you get. Now let's just jump right in and try and create some copies. So as you can see right here, there are two ways of doing it. Either you can just write the text manually right here where you enter what your product is called, you describe it a little bit and then you choose the tone of how the content created should be. Let's start out with this. So I've written some description of Collecti and then I will just press create copy. Now it is magically creating the copy and you can see how fast this was. So let's just try and dive into the different ones and see. For instance, there is a very short one here and this was basically just what I wrote. This is fairly normal to see with all of these AI tools. We also have a different one here where it says collected.io is an affiliate platform that helps you manage all of your affiliate deals and maximize your profit. That was what I wrote. But then it also says, so you can focus on what matters, growing your business. Very good. This one up here is also very good to use. Of course, this one down here I wrote. And this one again, very good also. This one is good as well and so on. All of these are very, very good except for this one right here. So out of all of these that were generated, there's only one that we can't use. That is very good results based on what we have seen earlier when we have tried different types of AI copywriting tools. Now there is a different way of doing this. They have this feature up here called Supercharge. It is right now in beta. But what I can do if I flip it on is that I can enter my website and then I can just press fetch. What it then does is that it fetches the name of the website, the explanation, this it pulls all this data it pulls from the website, the descriptions, what is unique, here you can see the target audience. Again, all of this is correct. It is so well done. Down here we choose the brand voice of this product. What is the call to action for the website? And then we press create copy. And then you can see that we get these results down here. These results are still from the previous one. But when I run it, then I have saved all of the results up here for you to see it. Because the results are really outstanding. The quality of the content we can generate within copy.ai has really impressed me. It is some of the best content I have seen. So going through the different content pieces here, they are working very well. I could basically take and use all of these different descriptions to describe the product. But let's try and go to templates because you can see that they have a lot of different templates. And a template is basically just a tool. So you can see we have a YouTube video description, a YouTube channel description, we have event recap and so on. But what I want to try is the block intro. So let's try this one and start a new project. So here we need to enter what is our block title. I will say something like WordPress image optimization plugins. And then I'll just add a word in the front and then here we need to write what this blog post is about. So one thing I really like about copy.ai is that I can write up to 1000 characters. Normally these descriptions are limited to 100, 160, sometimes even 60. So it's really great that I can just fly out there and write everything that I want about my blog post in order to get the best result. Again up here we have the supercharge, but this is not available for this specific tool. I will choose the tone relaxed in this case and then let's create the copy and see what we will get. 
So it's now done and it was a little bit slower than the other time, but nothing to complain about. It was still fast. The first thing I noticed about these blog intros is that they're a little bit short. Now we do have a longer one down here, but this one here, or especially this one, it's just, it's too short for a blog intro. It needs to be longer, it needs to have some type of filling to it. But let's try and go out to the top again and then see the different results. So already at the first one, I really like it where they're talking about that there are a lot, both free and premium, and we'll go through the five best WordPress image optimization plugins to help you with your website speed. So here it is taking out the keywords from what I wrote in the description of the blog post and then it's trying to utilize it in the best possible way. The next one is also great. It is taking a different approach. This one is just, it's too short. Again, this one is great. It's talking a little bit more general to begin with, where it's talking about working with WordPress images. It's really important that you optimize it correctly and so on. Really great as well. This one I could also easily use. Then there comes some here where we can use them, but they're just, they're very short to use they are still usable and they still talk about the right things for us. What I really like about this one, which is a little bit longer, is that it starts to talk very generic about website speed, plugins, and so on, but it doesn't really touch base on the image optimization plugins. It is a little bit talking about the wealth of image optimization, but compared to the other ones, it is not as precise. So if we could combine this one here, with some of the other ones, then we would have a great introduction. So it would be something like this. And then we have of course to remove some work a little bit with it, but then we have our blog introduction. That is really great to see. Now let's go back to the templates and try a different type of tool. We have of course the social media content. We have the email, website copy. We also have some case studies, but let's go with the website copy and let's create a sales landing page. Let's start a new project. So in here, what are we looking to create? A sales landing page. Here we need to write our product, our target audience and the features and benefits. So let's go ahead. The product is called collected.io and the target group is affiliators. So I've written some features and some benefits. Let's just keep the friendly tone and then create copy. So let's see what we get because this is for a sales landing page. Previously, I have reviewed Sonic, and what I really liked about Sonic was that it showed me visually, this is how your website could look like, this specific landing page, and this is how we would use the text. Here it is just giving me text. And if we have to build an entire landing page, then we need a lot more text than this. So even though the text is great, it has very good content, it makes sense, then this is just too short, especially this one right here, where it's talking about easy management and how you can manage all your deals in one place, grow your affiliate income. This is just, it's too short. This one is a little bit better, but we still have to think about that this is a landing page that need to sell a product. That landing page is probably going to be very long, which means that we need a lot of content to really support the product and sell the product. And this is a little bit of mixed feelings. The quality of the content generated is great, but the amount of content is not really there. Of course, we can always take and combine these different types of text together to create a long landing page, but a lot of them are talking about the same thing, so it would be a little bit difficult. But maybe we have to run it section by section. So imagine you have a landing page, first you have the product, then you have one feature, another feature, and a third feature. Maybe we had to change it to use it like that, but the template was just showing us that we had to fill in all the features and all the benefits to begin with. So I am expecting a longer result than this. Now the last template I want to try out is for a YouTube video description. So right now we're doing a YouTube video about copy.ai, so let's try and use that. So I've now written the video name and the video description. And you can see that it is always the same three different steps that we need to go through. What is it we want to create? What are the main points we want to cover? And then we choose the tone. We can of course also use the supercharge, but not for this specific tool or template. So let's create a copy and then let's see what we get for this video we are creating right now. 
So already the first description here is so, so good. I will save this one. It's talking about copy.ai, what it is, how it works, and then it's mentioning one problem that is only accessible by paying for the service. And that is not entirely correct because they have a free version as well. So a fact checker here could be an interesting thing to maybe work over this tool. In the next one here is talking about that we are reviewing copy.ai, basically just the text that I wrote. And then it's saying that we want to see how well the system could understand our needs and fulfill them. It is correct, but it's very generic to use. And then it's talking about that it takes a brief, analyzes it, and then it writes the content for you. That is completely correct. So in this case, we could use this one, but it is very generic. And then it goes on with some different ones here. In this video, we're reviewing this product, product name to take it through some testing and validating the content created. That was what I wrote, of course. And it's talking about that we've had some great success with this kind of content in the past, but it's important to test the quality and determine how well it does for us. And that is again correct. So what we have seen throughout the different tools and templates we have tested with copy.ai is that the quality of the content is very high. And that's good to see because often we see these AI content tools just spit out some type of content and often it's not remotely close to what it is we're looking for. But that is copy.ai creating content. We have all of our projects. You can save your favorite tools out here if you want to. We can also see the popular tools which is used most by other people. And then we have the recent tools that we have used. There is of course also the freestyle tool. In the freestyle tool, you just enter what it is you want to create. For instance, before we saw a YouTube description and then you write the main points and here it is asking what it is you want to cover. You can also get some tips here for better results. You choose your tone and then you just press create copy, just as we've seen with all the other templates. And that is how easy it is to use copy.ai. If we want to, then we can also change the language. And we can both change the input language, but we can also change the output language. So let's for fun, let's just try and take Danish and change the language. Then let's go back to uh, product descriptions here. And then let's just fill out again our product. I'll just write about the product and then I'll press create copy. So now I'm expecting the results to be in Danish. Let's see how the results are. So the results are average. The first one is not really talking about what it is collected at iOS. The next one is talking about it and it is describing it pretty good, but there are some translation issues. And then we have the third one here, which is pretty point on, but it is easy to see that this translation is working to some extent because as a native Danish, I can see that there are a lot of translations here where I would definitely describe it differently. There are some wordings here we don't really use, but of course, as a computer, you don't always know that, and this is still work in progress. This might be a thing that they're working on improving, but based on what we have seen previously, where we have tested other tools, the results are really great, and I would definitely be able to use them. I just had to tweak them a little bit. Now, using copy.ai, you can get a free plan, which is very generous. You get a lot of credits and you get an extra 100 credits the first month to generate content. Then you can really test out copy.ai and you get access to all of their tools. Now they do also have a paid plan. And in this paid plan, you get unlimited credits. You get first access to all of their new tools. You get priority support and you get access to a premium community where you can teach and learn how to generate better content. Now, the alternatives to copy.ai, there are two alternatives. And the first one is PepperType. PepperType we have previously talked about on the channel. And PepperType has great short form content, just as we see with copy.ai. They have a lot of different types of tools and they have a beautiful design. Though the quality of the content generated within PepperType can vary sometimes, within copy.ai, you can really feel that it's thorough developed and you get great results. Now the other alternative is Jasper. Jasper is still seen as the number one in the AI copywriting industry, especially within short form content. 
because what they did early on was that they acquired smaller companies with specific technologies so they didn't have to spend time on developing this. This means that they have a lot of knowledge within their umbrella of their company so they can really just deliver an outstanding product so we can generate even better content. And all of these combined copy.ai are very close to Jasper but Jasper are still a little bit ahead, especially because they have the long form content creator. Now for copy.ai's future, I couldn't find an official roadmap that showed all of the features going from start to the end. But what I did found was that they were funded back in February this year. They ran a series A round where they got a lot of funding in. So this means that they're expanding the team and we will definitely see this product mature even more. One thing they did mention in these news were that they are focused on delivering even better quality results. And as it is right now, I'm really impressed by the results. So the fact that they can deliver even better results is just really outstanding. I'm so interesting and so intrigued to see in the near future how they are going to spend the funds. Of course, it will be on the development, but what features would they focus on? One thing I'm of course hoping for is the long form content editor, but it wasn't mentioned in the blog post. So we will see. I just know for a fact they're working on the quality of the content generated. Using copy.ai, what I really like is that it's a funded company, so it's a mature company as well. The UX is easy to use and you really get quality content generated. Now one thing I was expecting them to have was the long form content editor, but we will hope that they will develop it in the near future.